everybody and welcome to my read aloud. It's called Keys and Symbols on a Map. It's written by Meg Grieve. It uh, doesn't say who the illustrator is, but since we've been doing maps in social studies, this is a great book for that. It's in Epic too, and it will read it to you if you want it to, but I'm gonna read it to you because it's me. So, look at a map. What do you see? You see symbols and a key. So here's the map. Here's the map key, or sometimes it's called a legend too. Symbols stand for bigger things like mountain stream, mountain, mountains, streets, or even stream. So in here, these are your mountains, and then there's your streets, and the blue is your streams. Symbols are also very small. So depending on the map, the symbols might be really small. So on some maps, a dot is a city. The red lines are streets, the purple lines are rivers, and then there's a circle with an airplane in it. That's for the, excuse me, airport. Maps and globes can't show it all. A city might be a little dot. A car might mean a parking lot. So sometimes, we talked about this a little bit too, the symbols might represent something you don't think it does. So in this case, a parking lot is represented by a car. The symbol is a car. Look in the corner to find the key or a handy tool to explain what you see. Maps can show us lots of things like giant rivers or parks with swings. So this castle looking key, it was right there, that's the park on that key. Just use the symbols and the key. Reading maps is fun and easy. And here's a glossary of the books, or some of the words in the book that we read. City, globe, key, map, mountains, symbols. And again, this is on Epic, so if you want to read it, you can read it later, or have it read to you, or watch me do it again. Bye, guys.